Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to talk to you about this particular book. It's called Problem Primer for the Olympiad. It was uh, compiled or written by Pranesachar, Venkat Shalai and Yogananda and it's uh, published by Prism Publication. So you can easily find this particular book online and in your local bookstores as well. It's basically a compilation of problems and it also contains certain toolkits for mathematical Olympiads. Now these days when we say mathematical Olympiads, parents and students get a little bit confused because there are hundreds of Olympiads, so-called Olympiads out there. And to be very honest, most of them do not have any value. Uh, they are created by some organization which just put, puts together some problems. Those problems are not really thought provoking, not really non-routine problems. And yet they call that an Olympiad. So let's get that particular thing cleared up. When I talk about mathematical Olympiad, in India, I am talking about the contest that is organized by the Department of Atomic Energy and the Indian government. The first round of it is called IOQM as of 2022. Earlier it was called PRMO. Now they have changed it from this year. It's called IOQM. And the second round is called INMO, Indian National Math Olympiad. And the final round after Indian National Math Olympiad, you can go to IMO, that is the International Math Olympiad. Only six students from India take part in International Math Olympiad, are selected for IMO every year. So there are other IMOs which are like fake IMOs, don't go for them. Now coming back to this book. Now this book of course contains a toolkit as I talked about a few moments ago on number theory, geometry, combinatorics, and algebra. You are expected to use this toolkit as a reference tool and then directly jump into the problem section. And let me warn you, the problems will take a lot of time because that's what they are supposed to be. They're supposed to be challenging and non-routine. You cannot just plug in a formula and expect it, expect it to get solved by itself. Coming back to the preface of the book, that is one of my favorite parts of this book. It contains a particular quote by a mathematician called Gabor Zego. Gabor Zego, you can find him in Wikipedia. He is one of the great mathematicians from United States from the previous century. And he talks about something that is very close to my heart. So I have talked about it in our parent teacher meetings at Chinda and to the Math Olympiad students who work at Chinda, who study at Chinda number of times, but I would like to share it with you as well. So Gabor Zego asks, how can you motivate uh, a young mind to solve problems like these? These problems takes hours, maybe days, sometimes weeks to, to be solved. So how can you expect a young mind to actually be invested in one problem for such an extended amount of time? And I will put the entire quote at, in the description sec section, you can read it. But what he essentially says is, this is a cultural phenomenon. It cannot be done overnight. It cannot be not even done even in a couple of months. This is a an attitude toward mathematics that can be inculcated in children over several years. And there is a lot of role for parents and the surrounding society in it. Basically, one should prefer intellectual and spiritual happiness. That's what Gabor Zego says over material well-being. That's sort of a philosophical thing to say while about problem solving, but I do think that is entirely correct. So I would encourage you to focus on problem solving and use the problems in this book. 
as well as think about the spiritual and the intellectual part of it as Gabor Zego professes in his quote. And uh, if you know about other books which are of similar nature and which are fun to solve, let me know in the comment section. Until the next time, uh, take care and keep on solving great math, uh, great problems. Take care. Bye.